Fog of Gaming here and welcome to part 1 of the Rainbow Six Siege Tips and Tricks. In this new series you will get 10 tips and tricks that will improve your game and your domination on the battlefield. I will start off with some easy tips and tricks and later you will get to see some pretty cool stuff. Rainbow Six is a modern day shooter and like in most first person shooters you can cook your grenades. I still see a lot of people who don't do this and it makes it very easy for me to run away from a grenade. Don't give your enemy the time and the opportunity to do that because all you did was give away your position. Make sure that you cook your grenades and try to time it so that it explodes exactly when it hits the wall or the ground. Press and hold the button that you assign to throw your grenade and let it go at the right time. The grenade indicator will start flashing faster and faster and you can use this indicator to time it or you can count the seconds. It will take approximately 4 seconds to explode. Barbed wire can be used to stop drones, but only if you electrify it. You can use bandit to do this, let one of your buddies drop some barbed wire or do this yourself and then use your unique ability and drop one of your shock wires on top of the barbed wire and it will destroy everything that comes close. On top of that, your electrified trap will damage your enemies if they try to walk past and it might even kill them. When you are attacking and your drone survives the first stage, then you can still use the same drone again to gather intel. If your drone gets destroyed, which is very likely, then keep in mind that you still have a second drone. A lot of people that I've played with seem to forget about this all the time. Keep in mind that knowledge is power and in Rainbow Six this means more kills for you. Your time is limited in the first stage of the game. You can only use your drone for about 45 seconds. To make better use of your time you can jump with your drone. It's faster than not jumping. There is an audio cue in the game that will let you know when the jumping mechanism is charged up again. The fastest way to climb stairs is not stopping and turning. You are better off making smooth turns so that you can keep the speed up. Combine these two techniques and you will win a few seconds every round that you play. Another great thing to do with an operator like Bandit is to electrify fences, walls and wall fortifications. An electrified fence is very useful if you deploy it on top of stairs or in front of a door. Just use your shock wire on that fence and your enemy will take a lot of damage if he tries to get past. It would be very difficult for him to destroy your shock wire. An electrified wall fortification is impossible to breach. If your enemy tries to attach a breaching device on that wall fortification, then his breaching charge will be destroyed and he will take damage while deploying his charge. You can even hide your shock wire. Place your barbed wire in the middle of a doorway. Then deploy the shock wire on your side of the door and then barricade the door. Super easy and you just made your enemy's life a lot more difficult. If you decide to unlock mute, then you will get access to a signal jammer. This device is mostly used to stop drones. 95% of the players use it for this purpose. However, it can also disrupt the signal between your enemy and his breaching charge. Just place your signal jammer on the other side of the wall, preferably behind the fortified wall, and nobody will be able to access that room from that wall. The first thing that you should do as an attacker is to destroy the cameras. There are two or three cameras located outside and a few more inside. Take them out as soon as you can, it will keep the enemy guessing. Before you enter a room or a hallway, shoot the camera. This will dramatically increase your survivability. Termite and Ash are the only ones that can breach from two locations at the same time. Termite can do this by placing a normal breaching charge and then using your unique ability to place another charge. First detonate your unique ability and then at the right time detonate the other one. And you will be breaching from two locations at the same time. Ash can do this as well. First place your normal charge and then use your unique ability to shoot your breaching charge at a different area. It will take a few seconds for it to detonate, so time it right and you will be breaching from two locations at the same time. What I would strongly recommend is to take a look at the maps. I attached them in the video description and these maps will show you the layout of the rooms, but more importantly, it will show you all breachable walls. I'm sure that you will discover a few walls that you have never breached before and maybe this will give you the advantage in your next game. Last but definitely not least, use your comms. This is probably the most important tip that I can give you. Communicate with your teammates and they will help you in return. It will make your team a lot more powerful than when you have 5 guys doing their own thing. 
I hope that you liked this video and that you will share it with all your buddies. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you on the battlefield.